Good morning, Canes. Today is September 19th, and you're watching Eye of the Storm. Good morning, Canes. Welcome back to Bishop Sports. This week, volleyball had a game on Tuesday. And this Friday, the football team has a game. Be sure to come out and support. Now here's Christina's interview with Mr. Smith. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hey. Have a donut. Oh, thanks. Your challenge today is to finish the donut in two minutes. Do Would you like best. an interview? Yeah, sure. Describe yourself in up to three words. Um, well, I'm kind of a nerd. Uh, so, I really like literature. I like indie rock. And I like tweed. So I'm a tweedy, indie rock, uh, literature nerd. Which historical figure would you like to meet? Um, I would like to share a donut with Ernest Hemingway. I think that'd be fun. What do you think of Fish Up so far? It's fun. I'm, uh, I'm a Catholic school kid myself, so it's, uh, it's like a nice little home. Who's your favorite coworker, and why is it Mr. McClung? Oh, Mr. McClung. Um, I love Mr. McClung. He's great. I'll tell you guys like I tell my students, though. Um, I don't pick any favorites. What will you do if a student sleeps, sends you an email in your class? Sleeps and sends me an email? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be impressed. Um, if a student sends me an email in my class, I would hopefully try to respond to it. Where is your dream vacation? Mm. Um, I've been to Dublin. I've been to Hawaii. I've been to both Portland's, Portland, Maine, and Portland, Oregon. Um, Dublin was probably my favorite, though. What are your biggest pet peeves? <laughs> Interviews. Do you have a favorite sports team? I do. Uh, for college ball, I'm a Tar Heel fan. I uh, believe Carolina Blue. And then for professional football, I'm a Carolina Panther fan. What was your favorite subject in high school? English, duh. What is your favorite hobby? Mm. Um, I don't know, I guess I like to read. Describe yourself as a film title. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like an old man trapped in a young man's body, so maybe like the curious case of Benjamin Button, except I do have like gray hairs now, so maybe the reverse aging isn't really going all that great. What will I see you do as I walk into your room? Uh, probably pacing. Definitely drinking coffee, um, talking to myself. Two minutes are up. Can you show us your donut? Oh, I was so excited about this interview, I forgot to eat the donut. It's okay. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, there's a mask day tomorrow, so make sure to wear your mask uniforms. Now here's Bina and Sam with trick questions. I can't think of it. Oh, you got me on that one. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I'm terrible with jokes. I really am. I can't remember them. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? <laughs> no. You down? I don't joke. Okay. So, Vina, um, I heard somebody say earlier that you sound a lot like an owl. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay. You. Now, time for some trick questions. Okay. So, Bob's father had four kids. Momo, Mimi, and Moo Moo. Who was the fourth child? The name of him. Repeat that. Momo. I just heard this one, but I don't know. <laughs> you want the right answer? Yeah. Got it. A rooster laid an egg on the top of a barn roof. Which way did it roll? I don't know. <laughs> Left. Roosters do not lay eggs. Okay, last one. A plane crashed on the border between England and Scotland. Where were the survivors buried? A plane crashed. Yes. Between England. I mean, I'm assuming that they were buried somewhere in the United Kingdom. In the rubble pile where the plane crashed. Survivors don't get married. <laughs> Thank you, this is Gerber. math. This is logic. <laughs> oh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. The Multicultural Club is making mooncakes for three dollars after school today, so be sure to come. That's all for today, Canes. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. I have the storm. Be sure to follow us on social media at BMCHS Report, or visit our website at stormreport.bmchs.com.